Dude, sometimes Twitter is an awful place. Sometimes I get useful information for Twitter, even spoilers, it's super nice, people are good. Not too often, but sometimes I go on Twitter and there is this crowd of people that is full of negative emotion towards one wrestler or something like this. Yesterday, for example, someone have said, please WWE fire Death Rebel or stop the partnership with it. And I was like, what? And the thing I want to talk about today is this photo that everyone took out of context and people who are commenting about it probably didn't even watch the show. We're talking about Edge, we're talking about Adam Copeland, your favorite, my favorite, the rated R superstar. And people that were commenting on this photo were saying, since Adam Copeland came to AEW, his downfall is brutal. Look at him now, he is looking like a clown. So in your opinion, everyone who is wearing a makeup is looking like a clown? Good job. Your wife is a clown then. You probably don't even know the context and that's why I'm here. The context of the whole segment and why he was wearing a makeup that is not too bad by the way. He's just having shadows under his eyes that were kind of necessary because before that he was wearing a mask that was covering his face and he was hiding in the crowd with a sign and basically Christian Cage came up to him, he pushed his sign and after that he attacked back. And after that a whole bunch of cool ass stuff happened in the ring before we were having this shot of him with the shadows on. Like he came out, he was fighting Christian, he was fighting everyone, he was having Spike basically with a, a box where it was written Spike on and whenever Christian Cage looked at that box he ran away. He's gonna have on the next Dynamite a match, I quit match in Toronto. We're talking about a guy who was able to elevate the whole company on another level. People don't realize that, but the TNT Championship is way more interesting right now than the AEW Championship, the TBS Championship, the, in any other championship, even the tag team titles. Before Adam Cole went into the company, everyone was undermining Christian Cage. Even though he was doing amazing work as a heel, he was able to build the patriarchy, he was doing amazing promos, but whenever Adam Copeland came, to AEW, it was on a whole another level. Their whole feud, it all started because Adam Cole wanted to be friends with Christian Cage, wanted to create the tag team they always were. Now they're recreating their feud. And it's amazing. And I feel like it's gonna be the end at Toronto. But it's really unfortunate. You're kind of right about one thing. The story is good. Their promos are good. These segments that are from week to week are very good, I love them, but there is something you're right about, the endings. The culmination is always undermining that whole work of building up. Their matches are always on dynamites, they're not even on big pay-per-views, and their endings are always scuffed. It's always feeling unsatisfying to watch these matches. Like the last time they were feuding, they were again feuding for the TNT Championship and Adam Cole won the match clean and after that Luchasaurus came out with some sort of a contract, restarted the match from the name of Christian Cage. Christian Cage won the match, winning the TNT title back, when in reality it should have been Luchasaurus winning the title. What the hell is going on? I, this is one of the reasons why I actually stopped watching AEW. Because that ending was abnormal. And I believe in that episode of Dynamite and on that match we saw also Nick Swain's mother joining the Patriarch. It was absurd. But besides that, I love Edge, I love Adam Cole, and I can see his influence in AEW, and I can see how this title is the more re most relevant title right now. 
but people kind of don't see the haters don't see the haters don't want to see that and I kind of don't blame them look at your Okadas look at your Ah Young Bucks look at your Kenny Omegas it's fine there is a cup of tea for everyone thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna see you next time peace